and welcome to another episode of Mice Chatter! What is the haps this week? I'm gonna tell you. Fourth of July weekend at Disneyland! You know what that means. It means Fourth of July fireworks, Fourth of July decorations, Fourth of July food, the Frontierland B Big Thunder Ranch is no longer spring roundup, but patriotic Fourth of July roundup. Fourth of July everything. 4th of July forever. That is what happened at Disneyland. The fireworks looked really cool, I must say. They were doing a good job. Alice in Wonderland, which has been down for months, is finally up and running. They really shut it down because they needed to add safety rail slash precautions to the part where you go out on the leaf, but there were a lot of unexpected changes that I think are pretty cool, including new animation scenes added to some of the walls, and at the end at the Mad Tea Party. It's always nice when they update stuff like that. I think it looks pretty cool. Full video is available on mystrad.com. Links are below. Disney World has been uh, one-upping Disneyland lately with these interactive games that they have set up in the park. So Disneyland just started on Wednesday a new interactive experience called Legend of Frontierland Gold Rush. It looks interesting. I don't really get it, but there are all these props up in Frontierland that are used for the game. Um, basically, there's a feud between Frontierland and Rainbow Ridge, who's trying to steal their land, and people get to play out that feud or something. Maybe some of you should do it and explain it to me, because I don't get it. The Guardians of the Galaxy Extended preview opened up at the Captain EO Theater. Captain EO is no longer there. But now you can watch a full scene from the movie in addition to an extended trailer. All in all, it is 10 minutes of footage. So if you're stoked for Marvel's newest movie, Gotta go to the Magic Eye Theater in Tomorrowland and check out the Guardians of the Galaxy extended preview. Over in downtown Disney, they have a big screen set up so that people can watch the World Cup. If you care about that thing, I don't know who's visiting Disneyland and saying that they want to sit in downtown Disney watching. Parents, Parents Rachel says. In non-Disney theme parks news, uh, Dumbo live action movie. They announced that they're gonna be making a Dumbo live action movie from the same guy who wrote the Transformers movies. Woo! I hate this. Why? Why do it? Why? <laughs> what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next week for more Disney news. Bye!